Hey, making another video again on uh, one of my other guns I went out and shot not too long ago. Uh, that I love shooting this thing. It's a Uberti uh, Colt Single Action Army clone. This one's chambered in 357 Magnum, stainless steel, walnut grips, solid walnut grips. They, they make these clones really well. They even add in the four Colt clicks. C O L T. Colt. I've got some dummy rounds, zoom caps. Uh, I'm going to show you the way people are supposed to load single action armies, especially ones with the firing pin on the hammer as you'd cock it to half cock open the loading gate drop one in rotate it skip that chamber then drop in one or two three four and five even you close the loading gate cock it all the way back let the hammer down and you're always going to land on your empty chamber and that's the way you want to load and carry these because uh, your firing pin is sitting straight against the primer if you had a round sitting under that and uh, you drop this or jar or falls out of your holster or for some reason I don't know it gets hit on the hammer hard enough that rounds gonna go off if it somehow you drop a brick on it while it's still in your holster you might end up with either a really nasty burn or a hole in the leg uh, but this thing five and a half inch barrel that's the length I like that's uh, what all my single action uh, revolvers are in is five and a half inch I find it long enough to be accurate, but not so long as that seven and a half inch that the it originally came they originally came in about yay long. It probably give you a lot of accuracy, but uh, a little too long for me. It's got a sight picture of a blade and groove or blade and notch. You just line those guys up. And fire. And this thing does have a pretty dang nice trigger pull. And shoot, you can uh, draw this from the hip, from the holster, and fire without even bringing it up to eye level, and you're you're on. This thing points and shoots so nicely. Uh, let me remove these dummy rounds. You use your extractor that's underneath the barrel. One, two, three, four. Check all the cylinders or all the chambers. You'd use you'd do this using gravity because they'd stick a lot more. Once they're fired, they expand. Always cock it all the way back and release it. Don't, don't try to pull the hammer or uh, drop the hammer at a half cock or in its safety notch. You want to always bring it all the way back and then forward. And that can start messing up your internals, your uh, sear and uh, hand and a bunch of other parts that are inside here. Uh, to disassemble this guy, you would open your loading gate, bring it to half cock on the side facing me, your left hand side. You'd depress the cylinder pin, retaining pin, there's spring loaded. This one, after shooting it enough, it's 
kind of difficult to remove this cylinder pin. All right, just because it was getting a little difficult, I decided to disassemble it on off of camera. You've got your, you would just depress that, pulling your cylinder pin out and leaving this in a half cock, just open your loading gate, pulling out your cylinder. You can tell this one's been used quite a bit. But it is clean. And the rifling's pretty good in this one also. Well, you can't really see it since But it's really nice, you birdie. Really good if you don't want to pay the price of a real Colt, but you want a single action army, the you birdies are great. It's actually what a lot of the SAS shooters use. At least used to start to use a lot of people probably use like Navy Arms and uh, Cimarron uh, and real Colts uh, now because it's gotten real popular and people want the real deal or at least the higher end stuff. But uh, I bought this for about four eighty, about five hundred dollars. This was my second handgun. Uh, it's treated.